and then go here. We're gonna do this again. Fuck. Wow, I can't fucking get on the platform. Wow, that was fucking s stupid. I might as well kill these guys in the meantime. I do this too. Oh fuck, come on. Not the right way I wanted to go. Just die? Okay, they certainly died. You saw that. She did not hold back. So much fucking bubbles. Never ends. There you go. Go here. Oh man, if those fucking Frankenstein creature shit is so tough to deal with. They can take a beating and a half. Double jump, right, right. Oh, fuck me sideways. How do I do this? Oh, I get it. I get a sliding. I slide. I slide. So now we know if you, you activate time freeze underwater, you cannot do anything. Okay. Hey, man. We learned something new. Oh, I forgot these guys. Can't, I can't really do much to deal with guys. Whatever, just avoid them. Boss fight, perhaps? Because, you know, you're getting that and a save. Hello? That's a Q's voice. What's wrong? A powerful witch is waiting just beyond this point. It might be difficult with your power sealed, but don't give up. Don't worry, I can already handle my power of time. You may not be able to stop time, but you can slow it down. If you use it well, you can win. Listen to what I'm saying. I can already use my power to stop time. I wonder what's wrong. You don't need to thank me. This is all I can do. Huh? Oh, hello. Ok, why are you speaking so strangely? No particular reason. I was tired. So I was resting. Something's, something is wrong. I wonder what happened. No shit. Alright, there's Patchley. So Akio, you took longer than I thought. I just thought Miss Patchley is here. How is it? Are you having fun? I guess. Miss Patchley, did you create this world? It was Remy's usual request. If it doesn't exist, let's make it. The random right shrine mainly gets upset if we try anything in the Gensokyo. So we created a separate space. I guess since it's been so peaceful, Remy needed some excitement. If you would have said that from the start, I would have played along. It's no fun if we tell you. The element of surprise is what makes it exciting. That may be true, but I have plans too. Remy's selfishness always pops up suddenly. You're right. Anyway, we're here, so we might as well have some fun. I don't mind, but is your health okay? There's nothing to worry about. Today is a good day. I will show you a bit of my true magic powers. Oh boy. Fuck. Oh shit. Oh, she's not making this any easy. Oh, fuck! Can I hit the books? No, I cannot. Also, what's going on here? Oh, I think books based on what I'll just call it the time ability, maybe. Oh wait, yeah, you just do it here now, because she's like in a pretty good place to hit her. 
Oh, I see, I see. Okay, just blocking my ability to use my time. Well, I'm, I'm far away. Oh, fuck, never mind. Oh, shit, they don't spit that easily. We'll wait for it to reposition, and then we'll try to get some more mana back. Ah, oh, fuck me, sideways. Alright, just keep throwing knives. Holy fuck! Fuck. <laughs> I'm just creating as much as I can. Try to get as much back as mana as possible. Okay, good. We're in a better position now. I should just do this. There you go. Just fucking blast this every living shit out of her. Well done. How about this? Oh boy. Oh great. Oh great. Ah oh, fuck. I was waiting for the user ability then. Oh. Why is that one the easiest one? Oh fuck. Okay, got me there. Okay. And then hit her back with the knives. Let's go fucking ham. Oh fuck. Not much space. Now this is pretty. I'm not gonna. It deceptively looks easy. Like she throws a lot of shit at you, which you think would be scary, but they're not that bad to dodge. Hell, I think melee. Well, melee was because I didn't understand. I wasn't using the game's mechanics to the fullest. This one. Oh fuck. There you go. Level up. God, God. Oh, my asthma. When I least need it. Yeah, that was that was pretty easy, really. Marissa was much tougher. But yeah, Marissa had more speed, I guess. I'm sorry, without thinking I went all out. Cough, cough. D don't apologize. It, it was fun. I'm surprised you could use your powers though. We should have sealed them. Did you break the seal by force? This is thanks to a gadget loving Kappa. Personally, I don't like depending on tools, but Remy left quite a useful character for you. No, that's not it. My intuition was right. I had a bad feeling, so I made it rain, but to use gadgets. She's pretty smart, too. Miss Patchley? Oh, nothing. It's nothing. Anyway, you won, so you can move on. Will I be able to see Lady Romelia soon? Yeah, she's waiting at the clock tower just past here. Since it's Remy we're talking about, I'm sure she's itching to play with you. After Miss Patchley, I can't let Lady Romelia wait. Oh, Miss Patchley, please go home and rest. Yes, I'll head back to the Scarlet Devil Mansion first, the real one. As I thought, it was Miss Patchley who created this world. Next is Lady Romelia at last. I must hurry to Lady Romelia to escape this world as soon as possible. Can I move? Well done, Sakya. That's Lady Romelia's voice. I'm impressed that you'd be Patchley with your limited power. I'll go to where Lady Romelia waits and have her send me back to reality. Sorry, but it's still too early for that. No way. Yes, it's still just a demonstration. Again? For now, you'll have to wait for the official version. Official version? Didn't you say that last time? It's complicated. Anyway, congratulations on clearing stage 3. See you again. Alright, so that's 
stage two and three. Oh, okay. To be continued. Yes, to be continued. Now. Ooh. Ah, all right, so that was that. So that's Lunar Knights, obviously, stage two and three for the time being. And you know what, pretty good. Um, we got some new, and let's let the music play off before I continue talking, you know what? Let's do that. Okay, we're good now. So yeah, we got a lot of new mechanics. We got the jump, double jump. We got the knife riding ability. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at core abilities, not like the special spell cards, and then yeah. Then we also got the chainsaw. We got the, the my favorite one, though, throw knives to, to living fuck out of people and whatnot. So yeah, some nice designs. Um, I do like how they're incorporating more of the time ability. So as you saw, there was the green aura, purple aura, and blue aura. You know, the green aura can only it's like you know one can only move if you freeze time. One um doesn't uh one doesn't move it. You know, well, yeah, you know what I mean. Like one will free, one will continue to move with time frozen. One would not move until time is frozen and all that. And yeah, a lot of fun little gadgets in there. Like nice that they're incorporating the time ability really well using the layout, using uh, the stage hazards and all that. I like that a lot. It was nice to kind of think about it. Um, got annoying at some points, but you know, it was fair. It was reasonable. It wasn't like busted hard. It was just, you know, I have to be patient. I have to kind of think about it. So yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Um, uh, boss fights, you know, Marissa was definitely tricky for me, but that's because understanding her massive spark, where the safe zone was, it's kind of parallel to like the spiral thing. As long as you understood that, you can get through that pretty well. Patch the fight was pretty easy, considering I one-shot that, so you know it was not the hardest fight at all. Uh, it looks intimidating, I'm not gonna lie, because she throws out a lot of uh, magical abilities, um, uh, obviously on a, on a pattern, but she does throw a lot of them out, and then, you know, it, could, it looks like it can be overwhelming, but it's pretty easy, really. Um, if you abuse your time abilities, your your slowing and your time stop, it's pretty good. But in Patrick, in this fight though, Patrick does not give you much chance to hit her, with, like full combos. Uh, by that I mean like using your hitting her like horizontally because she's always in the air. So you, most of the time you're hitting her vertically, which kind of sucks because you don't get as much knives and you don't throw them as fast. So while she was easy, she was the longer fight because it took a while to take her down and chip her. But when you get her like the the, the the phase where you actually throw shit, you know, she, you just blast her pretty quickly. So yeah, um, definitely like the uh, the enemy varieties, some weird ass creatures, the Frankenstein monsters, and uh, you know, more fairies and as usual, and bubbles, fucking bubbles of all things. But whatever, we we deal with it as we go. And yeah, pretty happy that this uh, this got updated. I actually wasn't for sure how long it's gonna take because I'm looking at Oracle, and that's taking forever. I understand it's a long. Oh, well, actually, I have no idea how long the game's gonna be, but you know. Fucking look at Luna, I was like, holy shit, that's fucking fast. Like, I think it was like a month, maybe, or even two. And it got an update, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, still waiting on Oracle, so yeah. Whatever the case may be, uh, that was a good, that was, that was a good run. Did about an hour, and that's pretty, pretty good. Like, right now, it took an hour for the first stage, but that's because you need to get used to it and understand how it works. The second, uh, you know, the second part, stage two and three, you know, pretty big too. Uh, it took about an hour ish to complete it all, so. Depending how it turns out, if it does like the six stage deal, like most games, and maybe the extra stage, then actually yeah, like a five or six hours game, which you know is definitely worth the price of whatever it's asking for in the beginning. So yeah. Uh, but that's gonna be it. That's gonna be about it for this episode. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed Luna Knights, um the second updated version, whatever you want to call it, the one with stage two and three. But yeah, like always, this is Magi, and hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope the mic is pretty well, at least the sound quality, because at least when I was testing it out, the background noise, it, it pretty it does pretty well with the background noise. You might not notice it, but for me, when it comes to editing, I notice the background noise much more often. And hopefully, because this also has a pop filter, but it's a more expensive mic. It is from the same company, and it's got some more settings to it. So hopefully, it's better. And I'm supposed to close it off, but just to let you guys know. So yeah, hopefully this mic turns out pretty well. So yeah. See you guys in the next, whenever Luna Nights comes out. Thanks again. Yeah.